Welcome to Uzbekistan. We're right next to the beautiful, nice river. You can find an Indian guy meditating here with his feet turned up and... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to mention, he doesn't know how to swim. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. And actually it's not really good morning, it's a uh, good afternoon. Um, right now it's um, it's almost 1 a.m. here. I'm gonna try to be quiet. Uh, it's 1 a.m. Uh, here in uh, Bukhara, Uzbekistan. Um, and uh, we're just getting ready to leave the hostel here. So this is the room that we had. Um, it's only like, a, I think it's like 10 bucks a person or something. Something less actually, no, $8. And that includes the tourism fee, but it's a really, really nice place. Um, some burgers. Hi, Shiba. <laughs> what I like most about this place is that uh, there's a little kid here. He's only like uh, one year old and he's, he runs around and everything. He's so cute. So he loses toys all over the place. Uh, really nice little kid. But um, we're heading off to the train station. We gotta go down to the border um, to uh, Termez, uh, which is on the border with Afghanistan. Um, so it's gonna be a night train. I think it's like eight hours. We haven't gotten our tickets yet. Shiva and I never book anything in advance. So we have to go to the train station, go get our ticket, and then it's gonna go right away. We'll sleep all night, but it should be good. All right, so we made it to the train station now. Um, oh, the kid fell over. Hi, kid. Hi. Um, <laughs> but uh, as we're uh, asking for the price of the taxi, um, of course, you're supposed to ask the school goat, which is like how much. Um, but Shivam said a different S word that ends with another A. No, I um, didn't say it. I, I'm sure I said a skolka, otherwise, it would beat me. And... The other word that means the B word. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess maybe, yeah, he didn't punch you, so maybe that's a good sign. But um, okay, now, so we gotta go find our ticket. We have to go through security. All the train stations here, you have to go through like two layers of security before you actually go into the train, but uh, should be easy. It could be just that it's um. <laughs> Is your temperature good? <laughs> it, it could be just that uh, it's um 1 a.m. or 1:30, so maybe that's why there's nobody here. But uh, it's very very quiet here. The, the, they check your bag here, but uh, no, <laughs> that door doesn't work. Um. Jimmy's, yeah, yeah. Three. Three? Yeah, that's good. Three. We have to go quick, but the train leaves in 10 minutes. I don't know what they're rushing us about. Um, but uh, they, this is like one of the old trains. Uh, they do, Uzbekistan is notorious for having really fast trains, but it's usually only between like the big cities and the touristy kind of areas. So like Kiva, Bukhara, and uh, Samarkand. Maybe Samarkand and Tashkent. You can find a Chinese bullet train, surprisingly. But most of them are the old Russian ones like this. So uh, that's the third class. Bagon. Let's go him.
Maybe Shubham will go there. Maybe I'll just stay here. Hi. Привет. Кофина. А, я. Мама. Привет. И Бибулан, охор бы май ты чё хай, эй? Давай, эй, витай, эй. Okay, давай. Okay, давай, давай. You go. Yeah, blitz. Blitz. Already. Already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Come. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do we have other people in our room? No. Wait. Our room. Is it all to ourselves? Oh, that's quite nice. Very small train. Oh, and what's even worse, what's even worse is that we don't have any vodka for this train. We knew going to the Afghanistan borderlands that it's not good to be bringing vodka down to Afghanistan. So we gifted it to some other travelers we met. So this is going to be a dry run. But it's actually pretty comfy beds. Um, it's a lot nicer sheets than what I've seen on other Russian trains. Ukrainian trains or Kyrgyz trains. Kyrgyz trains. But, um, Quite slender. Usually there's power outlets up here. No power, no power. No. No power outlets. But it's all okay. Sakarashu. All okay. Okay, we'll get all settled in the train will move in just a sec. Apparently we're in the, the wrong carriage. Let's go, let's go because we're getting late. Come on, see. It's literally a group of like a hundred people on that side of the train. This is literally just empty train cars. I don't know. Where's it coming from? <laughs> okay. We're in the clear, kind of. I think we gotta go three trains over. We went literally all the way to the other end and then I go, oh no, wrong side, wrong side. Exactly what I wanted to avoid. Oh, pretty good. Quite good. We're gonna get our beds all set up again. Shubham happens to be an expert in setting up bed sheets. <laughs> Don't read anything more into that. He's <laughs> just an expert in setting up beds on trains. Um, but uh, I think it's gonna be like uh, nine hours. I don't think anyone else is in our carriage. I hope not. Um, so we'll just sleep now. Okay. Good night from Gukura.
Silk Road, and now we're down on the border with Afghanistan. I didn't think so much could change in just 10 hours, but now you're lucky if you're seeing one of the green fields. Uh, give it about another minute or two, and it's just straight sand dunes. Shiva refuses to wake up, even though we're five kilometers away. <laughs> has finally arisen from his slumber. It's time to get off the train because the entire train is waiting for us. Thank you, Spasiba Bashoi. And now Rahmad. Rahmad, right, yeah, that. I can never remember which one to say. Who's Black Railways? Come on, Shubham. Come on, Shubham. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Good morning. Um, um.